Folks hear me talk about saving energy and water, and lots of them ask, what's the connection? Well, it turns out energy and water are connected in lots of ways. Unless you live in a bear cave, you turn on the tap and hot or cold water comes out. Lots of people take this for granted, but it takes a lot of energy to get it there. A lot of that water starts way up here. In normal years, rain and snowpack flows down, down, down into lakes and reservoirs. But in the drought we're having, those reservoirs aren't refilling, so there's a lot less water to go around. And it takes lots of energy to get water from here to your home. It runs through pumping stations that use energy, and it goes through treatment plants that use energy. Over 19% of our state's energy goes to moving water, and that's not counting the energy you use right inside your house. Up to 18% of your energy bill goes to heating water. So using less isn't just good for California, it saves you money too. Modern low flow shower heads work great and save hot water and energy in the bathroom. Washing clothes in cold can save you some energy while you do laundry. And using faucet aerators and fully loading the dishwasher means less hot water and energy in the kitchen. You can save a lot of water and energy outdoors too. A drought-resistant yard sure is a beautiful thing. Helping save energy and water affects our quality of life in California. So if you want to do even more, invest in bigger upgrades like an efficient tankless water heater or even a solar water heating system for your roof. From no-cost actions to major upgrades, anyone can save money and help California stay golden. Learn more about water and energy and find rebates from your local utility at energyupgradeca.org. So, there you have it. Man, I love tea.